All right, so we've upgraded Mr. Bongo's The Gorillas group, and there are a couple of ways that you can tell that this group has been upgraded. First of all, if you click on Group Settings and then Pro Account, you can see the current plan there, um, rather than a link to the Pro Groups info. But you can also see Reports here, and if you go into Members, you can see an Import link here. So we only have two members of this group, but I want to import you know, maybe a, a spreadsheet file with uh, some of my colleagues' info in it. So I can click this import button, or link rather, and here's a place where I can choose my file that I want to import. So uh, a CSV file, if you're not familiar with it, is just a spreadsheet file that is uh, that you can export from Excel or some other spreadsheet uh, software that's just a text file that has all the information in it that you want to import. So these are columns and each each column has a header uh, and in this particular file I have, this is these are not real people, this is just um, this is a file that I generated from a website called Makaroo. Okay so this is all fake data and uh, if I wanted to import this list of people um, I would just select this file here and then click the upload button now on this page it's asking me to choose the correct field. So for first name I need to find the first name column and the last name column and then the email address. Those are the three columns that we need at minimum in your CSV file. The reason we ask for an email address is if for some reason the project that you adopt gets cancelled we need to be able to contact all of the people who signed up for that project so that everybody knows that it's been cancelled and nobody tries to show up. So we do ask for uh, for our group members to be um, to, in to include their email uh, address and we don't use that email address to contact them for any other reason besides just managing their volunteer project. If your CSV file has a header, um, which ours did, then you can click this to ignore that so that it doesn't try to import it. And if you've adopted any projects like Mr. Bongo has, then your project would show up in this list. And what this allows you to do is to um, add the members that you're importing to your project at the same time as you're importing. Now we, remember, if you watched the earlier videos, you know that we only asked for um, two spaces from that project. So if we tried to import a CSV file, with 20 members, it it wouldn't let us do it. It would it would add, uh, it would say that there there are too many people in this file to add to the project. So we're going to just choose do not add for now, and then click import. Okay, so it says that nine, 19 members were imported, and um, if we click on current members, we can see the names of all of the people that were in that file. Great. So that's how you can add new members to your group.